Heyo, duckies, Andy here, and I have released a new plugin, just this one here. You know where I do any sort of hotkey, I show it on my videos what hotkey I'm pressing, and it will tell you on stream, and all that jazz is super easy to grab. It is in the OBS forums, it's called Stream Up Hotkey Display. Uh, please feel free to leave a review if you would on the OBS forums, that'd be awesome. I have also added it to the Stream Up OBS plugin, so it will check for updates for this plugin, you can download it from the Stream Up plugin installer I've done videos on all those things I'll leave them linked below so there's a lot of different features that you can put in this you just need to download it it is only for Windows at the moment so I'm I'm still new to coding and I don't really understand how Mac and Linux handle key presses so it's only Windows only at the moment but installing it into OBS you will get a dock available and the dock is the stream up hotkey display dock seems pretty self-explanatory right and this dock is just this little thing just here. Mine might look a little bit different because I'm running a, a, a new beta of uh, Streamerbot, but it works exactly the same. Uh, we press enable hook, and this turns the, the key press um, uh, log on. So if I press like control and alt, you'll see it says control and alt just in there. And that's been uh, displayed on my live OBS at the same time. And obviously it'll track for this. It doesn't track for just normal key presses, so if I just start typing, nothing happens until I press a modifier like Control and A, for instance, or Alt and A. As long as there's a modifier pressed, it will work. It also works for F keys as well, so basically you can show your audience exactly what is being pressed. So that is just the dock itself, and it will tell you what it's um, what tri triggers it's picked up. Obviously, disable the hook, it doesn't turn on, and you can see just here, nothing shows up. But if I enable it, and I'm going to turn my live one off now, and go to the settings, this will be a settings button on your OBS, and once in there, you can display the hotkey as a text source. So if you, that's turned off, um, there's only an option for on-screen time. This is how long that hotkey stays on screen there for. So it stays on for a second and then disappears. So I'm going to display it as a text source. And to do this, we need to create a text source, okay? So I'm just going to close for a second and make a new source in OBS. And it's just going to be a text GDI source. And we can give it a name and I'll just put hotkey press, um, for instance. And you can choose any font, customize this however you want. Uh, and you'll be able to see that the text source is there ready to go. You can change all the color, do the outline just like you would do with a normal text source. And in there you can add filters as well. So I have I had mine like with a background and stuff with rounded corners so it looks really neat. So you can customize this exactly as you want it. What we're gonna do is go back into the settings of the hotkey display. We're gonna select the scene and it's just scene because that's all, all I've got inside of OBS at the moment. It's just called scene. And then we are gonna select the text source which was called hotkey press. We can add a prefix and a suffix, which I'll talk a little bit about in a second, but when I press apply and I then do a hotkey, boom, that hotkey is being displayed in here. And as you can see, it's aligned to the top left because you just need to change your position and alignment. So control E will open up your edit transform of that source when it's selected or right click and go to transform. And then you can change the uh, position and alignment. And then now if I move this to the center with control D, you can see it'll always stay centered, okay? Um, if we add a prefix and a suffix, if I go back into the settings, uh, this is in case you want to kind of stylize it a little bit more with a little bit of text. So something like, I could do something like that. And then uh, the suffix, the prefix is what's before the hotkey press and the suffix is what's after. Press apply. And then now when I do the hotkey, we'll have this little bit of text around the edges as well. So you can con basically, Edit this however you want. Use all of your normal OBS stuff like your bounding boxes as well. So you can say uh, scale to inner bounds and make sure it doesn't go past a certain size. So now if the hotkey is really long, we're all right. It'll auto size it so it stays within that box. So it's a really handy plugin for, for anybody that does like tutorials or you're sh doing art streams or something. You want to showcase what buttons you're actually pressing. Uh, hopefully you do like it. If you've got any feedback or anything, please let me know. Like this video, share it with your streamer friends and please subscribe because I'm obviously trying to help you guys out. I do a lot of these tutorials uh, about OBS, streaming, streamer bar, everything. And I do live Q&As at twitch.tv forward slash I'll see you in the next one. Put your rocket for the stone.